Well, Vicki, as it turned out, neither of those questions were the focus of this listening session. Most speakers wanted to focus on the potential breakup of JCPS and, as you're about to see, it was a contentious topic. Let's not kid ourselves. The reason for this public comment meeting is to try and give this task force what it desperately lacks, legitimacy. That's how it went for most of this public meeting at Central High School. Speakers taking the mic to address a task force made up of lawmakers, educators, and community members. The aim of the task force is to evaluate the effectiveness of Jefferson County Public Schools, the state's largest school district. The task force is also not ruling out a potential breakup of JCPS into smaller school districts. Our district gets 53% of its revenue from local taxes, but because property values are higher in North and East Jefferson, those schools in the regions will be funded and provided with more resources. Proponents argue that smaller, more manageable districts could lead to better resource allocation, improved student outcomes, and more localized decision making. Opponents, however, worry about the potential for increased administrative costs, disparities in educational quality, and the disruption of established community ties. I don't believe it should be split up. And here's the caveat. <clears throat> I don't think I need someone from the state to tell my district what to do. I need less state interference by people who do, I did not elect. This seems to, to be a veiled attempt to return to a separate but unequal educational system. Kentucky State Senator Lindsey Tishner is part of the task force examining all options about what to do with JCPS. We don't have any determination of what we're going to do with JCPS. Right now we're gaining information and we probably will keep doing that for a while. And that's why we had this forum to be able to hear from the community in this area. And the senator adds these are preliminary steps in examining whether breaking up JCPS would be good for the district's 95,000 students or not. No final decisions have been made yet. Another public meeting is scheduled next month at Mail High School. Reporting live in studio, Randall Cam, WOKY News.